step number one, make sure that you have drawn a nice background, you have cut out the object, and you have a sheet of paper ready to make your slider. Step number two, using your ruler, make a mark at two centimeters. Be careful to place the edge of your paper on zero centimeters rather than the end of your ruler. If you were to place it at the end of your ruler and then mark two centimeters, your line would be too long. Step number three, half turn your paper. Take your ruler and draw another two centimeter mark. The first time we made this mark, we made it on the left hand side. This time we will make it on the right hand side. This is to make sure that we can draw a straight line. So now I will match up these two marks and draw my straight line. And I should have two centimeters width all the way down. Four. Before you cut out your slider, color it the same color as your background so that it is less noticeable when you are moving it up and down or side to side. Step five, now that you have colored in your slider, you can cut it out. Be careful to stay on the line and cut really, really slowly. Step six, now that you have cut out your slider and your object, you need to stick them together. I do not have any glue at home, so I will be using some sellotape. If you are using sellotape, make sure that you fasten it at the back so that it is more unlikely to be seen. Step seven, we have now got our slider and our background. We now need to put them together. So to do this, we need to make a couple of slits in our paper. If you turn your paper over, be careful to remember which side you would like your object. So I want mine on this side. So I will know that it is the opposite side when I turn it over. Take your ruler and your pencil and make two straight lines. If your lines are not where you would like them to be the first time, then you can always redraw the lines. Step eight. Once you are happy with where you have drawn your lines, you can cut them out. However, be careful because although you can draw your lines as many times as you want to move them, once you start cutting along one line, you have to commit to that line and carry on cutting that. So the easiest way I find to cut a hole in the middle of the paper without ripping it is to gently fold it over a tiny bit. Do not fold it over too much and make a tiny slit along the line. Can you see that? Do that for the other line as well. Open up your piece of paper and try and smooth it out a little bit. And then insert your scissors into that little hole and continue to cut along the line carefully. Be very careful with this, especially if you are using adult scissors. And continue until you have cut all the way along your line. And you will have finished with a slit, two slits in your background 
ready for us to slip in our slider. The longer you do your lines, the more range your object has to move side to side. However, you do not want to make them too big, otherwise it will it will get lost and keep moving around in there. Step nine, take your slider and slot it into the top hole. Weave it through and push it all the way down. You can now play with your moving picture. Have fun.